Okay, what is up everybody? Hello and welcome to Mass Effect Part 1. So today we're going to start this. We're going to start a new career. And let's start with the character creation. Military database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay, so I'm going to start by just picking John Shepard. Log in to access your profile. Yeah, I like profile the name. Um, Please log in to access your profile. Do I have to do... Let's do custom Please mail. Log in to access your profile. Oh, okay, there we go. I've data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Okay. Confirm pre service history. So, was I a spacer? Both your parents were Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships, stations, and stations as they were transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following your parents in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. As a colonist, you were born and raised on Min Mindor, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindor, slaughtered your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance member and you enlisted in the military a few years later. Jesus, that's brutal. Okay, an earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and the underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. I'm going to go with Spacer. Confirm psychological profile. Okay, so as I, the sole survivor, during your service, a mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stress that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell and now you alone are left to tell the tale war hero early in your military career you found yourselves facing an overwhelming enemy force you risked your own life to save fellow soldiers and defeat an enemy despite the impossible odds your bravery and heroism earned you medals and recognition in the alliance fleet or ruthless throughout your military career you have held fast to one basic rule, get the job done. You've been call called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for reputation for ruthless efficiency makes you makes your fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. I think I'm gonna go war hero. Confirm military specialization. Okay, so soldier, engineer, adept, infiltrator, sentinel, or vanguard. So, I know, I don't know a ton about this game, but I know a little bit in the fact that I want to pick something with a little bit of power. Um, just so I have that option. Let's see here. Soldier, Engineer, Adept. I think I'm going to go... Uh, Vanguards are Biotic Warriors. That combine biotics and weapons to take down their opponents are especially deadly at short range. They specialize in pistols, shotguns, and wear medium armor. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Vanguard. Confirm facial identification. And I'm going to confirm this appearance too. Construction complete. Okay, so this is my John Shepard. So let's start the game. Identification confirmed. Oh, okay, we're going to go normal. Level scaling. Yeah, we'll just go with the new mode. I don't know the difference, so. Squad power usage defensive, okay. That's fine. Okay. This is really my first time playing it. Like, almost. I've played it a couple times before, but I haven't got past the first mission. Well, what about Shepard? Spacer lived aboard starships most of his life. 
Military service runs in the family. Both his parents were in the Navy. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient space-faring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars, the basics for this incredible technology. Jesus. Alright, Mass Effect. Didn't get to finish that. What just Thrusters, happened? Check navigation. Check internal emission sink engaged. All systems online. Drift just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Um, I'm gonna go with your overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I heard. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay. So now we have free roam. Just escape to open the journal and view your mission objective. So journal. You are the Lieutenant Commander, or you are Lieutenant Lieutenant Commander Shepard, Executive Officer on the SSV Normandy. Okay. Oh, that's rude. Okay, let's talk to him. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? He wants to see me. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Yeah. I grew up on the Incline Dock. It's not the kind of place specters visit. You want to talk to this guy? isn't telling us about his mission. Yeah, so everyone's a little on edge here. I didn't mean to cut her off. We'll 
be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Um... The doctor's right. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Um, uh, Spectres? What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. There are no human Spectres? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're well, a thank you, hero, Jenkins. Right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. I like how they um, incorporate your background into these dialogues. Like the captain said it earlier. Um, I'm just gonna head up. waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. You guys have a nice day. Let's go through here. Here's Nihilus. He's the Spectre, which the captain should be in here as well. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. I wouldn't know. I've never been there. But you know of it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? What's your point? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. What's going on? Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Um, why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime. I feel like Under if I'm some kind of beacon during leading an this, I, I should be in the know. Prothean. There's Prothean. What's Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Never mind, I thought they Their vanished 50,000 years ago. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shot. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why did we tell the Council? We don't need your help here. You sound worried. I'm glad you're here to help. Um, I'm just going to say I'm glad you're here to help. I don't want to piss this guy off. Hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Why? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Oh shit, that's, that's good. You support this, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. 
Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay, let's investigate um, the Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Sounds like the, the dwarves in Nobody Skyrim. Nobody knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Investigate. Let's figure out uh, about the beacon. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Wrong hands? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Terminus systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low key. Okay, I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. That's wrong, not good. Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Is that just a giant hand? Everything cuts out after that. No calm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Is this the hand? Yeah. That's just a big fucking hand. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Okay, sounds good. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Um, he can count on us. Back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. When did these guys learn about the beacon? Okay. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Okay, with that being said, that is going to be the end of the episode. Um, be sure to thank you Nihilus be sure to like and subscribe you can follow me on twitter and twitch in the links below and hope to see you guys next time